I am in the laundry because I'm going to be showing you guys how to wash your guinea, pig, guinea pigs. And yes, I have two guinea pigs, Bruno and Zipper. Yeah, so don't actually have his skin condition to the side. He is very hurt, so I'm going to show you guys how to actually properly wash your, not properly, but wash your guinea pigs. So the first thing that you would need to do is in the cage, I'll show you guys, my dog Archie. He, he's got, yeah, do sex and all that. I don't know where he is. Archie! Archie! I don't know where he is, guys. But anyway, I'm going to grab the bedding. So this is the bedding right here you should have. And I'm going to show you guys how to. Here he is. To get in. There he is, right there. Yeah. Okay, it's kind of hard. So guys, um. quickly grab my stand for it. Actually don't do that. Sorry about that guys. Anyway, um I hope your day has been really good. And yeah, I'm going to just pop that here so you guys can see hopefully. But you want to undo the little knot up here. Okay sometimes this is really really hard. At least you want to try to. Alright. Yeah. Got it. Right, these, these things, the wired things, are so hard to do. That thing tricks you up. Alright, so all you want to do really is just move your guinea pig and just pull. And if you guys can't see. Right, but we will be putting it in like this. And I'll just pop this in. Because once I come in, they're going to be super clean. So, I want to make sure. Fine, which is just like a little disease or something that they'll get over. 
So now after you just give them a little rinse, what you'll want to do is get this, a heads and shoulders shampoo. Yep, heads and shoulders shampoo right there. And it's around six dollars in um, Coles or something. And just grab that, undo the lid. Yes, it is very bad. Um, and all you want to do is just grab a tiny little bit. Tiny little bit, like a scent. Oh my gosh, that seems like sunscreen. We will not be using that much, so don't worry. We will only be using around a little um, amount. So I will get most of it off. Don't need too much. If you have too much, that will not be good. Okay, so around that much, you guys. Just want to do a little rub with your hands. And just put it on there. Much around. So don't need that much, just need a little. Oh, it's okay, buddy. Yeah, that's a bit that might sting them. Some guinea pigs can handle it, some may not. Um, my guinea pig, this one, Bruna, he is very sensible. He can handle a lot of things. So I'm very happy. He actually doesn't have so much hair. Most guinea pigs would have a lot of hair, naturally. So, good boy, you're a good one. Yeah, so. That's all you really want to do. Just give them a little rinse and all of that. Just give them a little tranquil too so they feel calm. That's all you basically need to do. And then just rinse them all off. So you might just want to do that. Oh yeah, they'll shake themselves off on you. Just like a dog. Oh, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Then they'll start climbing out and just ignore that fact. They're normally really good animals, so they won't hurt you. Oh, don't bite. They'll try and get out, they'll attempt it. But they'll try and clean, yep. So you see, they're actually going really well. They're gonna try and clean themselves and all that they can do. I'll be getting my mum after this so she can get out the soap. But that's all you basically wanna do. Just make sure they're calm, give them a treat after. You know, just make sure they're okay. And just keep on checking on them. And making sure they're fine. Just give their feet a little tickle and they'll clean. And under their bellies is an important bit too because there can be really bad dirt under there and you just wanna help them clean it. And that's all you basically want to do, just up their nose too. Yep, okay. Just up their nose would be lovely. On the sides of their cheek. And just going down. Good boy. Good boy, Boomer. Oh yeah, shake it off like a dog. And that's natural. So they're going to try and climb out like that. And they'll flip back down. But you don't want to do this somewhere that's um, really clean. You want to do it somewhere that's dirty. So you don't want to go doing that type of stuff. Sorry about that. Because all they're going to do is they're just going to want to hop out. So you just are going to stay calm yourself and just give them little packies at the same time. Just make sure there's no soap left in them. Okay, so that's all you basically want to do. Just give them a little... Oh, okay, that was a big shake. That was a really big shake. Because they normally, these guinea pigs are set in the Atlantic. Mark it! Oi! Down! No! Sorry about that. They're born in the Atlanta. I'm pretty sure, I don't know. Yeah, but down in the cold. So they're used to the cold. So you want to make their bath not too hot, but not too cold. Just right. Um, make sure you get all their soap out. Hey, Mum! Can you help me check if Boomer's okay now? Yeah, so... Yeah, so they'll go a little or something, and that's okay because they'll end up popping out and having a great time. And our my guinea pigs, um, we normally wash them around every one month or something. It depends on how bad they are. So, yeah, you just want to try your best not to do anything that's going to hurt them. Yeah, so I think I'm pretty much done. Now I'm just going to give him a little shake just like that. I'm going to put him right here. Making sure he's okay, and we're just going to rinse out the rest of the bath. Just like that. Ah, Archie, stop it! Someone's jealous, you guys. Now I'm just going to turn on some cold water so you can rinse your own hands off. Turn it on off again. It's all right, guinea pigs will be scared after. Natural. It's all natural, you guys. Very natural. So I'm just going to bring them on over. Come on, Boomy. Come on, come to the camera. So this um, right there, you can just see that red dot. Down. He um, is a little bit sore, but he should be fine. Just gonna wipe up that. 
have like little straps around my dog has been barking non-stop guys so just give them a little comb make sure they're not you don't have any more heads and shoulder shampoo please do not use human shampoo this is human shampoo but it is a specific one head and shoulders heads and shoulders yeah <coughs> oi <coughs> oi sorry guinea pig <coughs> Yeah, so my dog wants pats too. So I'm trying to give him pats at the same time. He's trying to give me kisses like, give it to me. My dog, guys. Me too. So. Oh, sorry about that. So, yeah, you just want to give them a quick little comb. And yeah. Okay, guys, so I've gotten my guinea pig, another guinea pig here. So you see, this is actually a very bad skin condition. So this is when they look really, really bad. So yeah, you guys basically know what to do. So that's this guinea pig and I'm just going to um, quickly show you when he's done. So yeah, see the difference. I'll show you a photo and then show you the after. He may have some red skin there, but all of the scalp and is gone. And for that, his shoulders definitely works. So that is just good, and we can get pretty good too. That and this is very around here. He is very happy to have a good Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.